Welcome to the Tools Can Work Better Together presentation. My name is Paweł Głowacki and I'm Senior Software Consultant with Embarcadero Technologies. In today's episode, I'm going to demonstrate Delphi and Delphi for PHP working together. Let's switch to Delphi for PHP. In this demonstration, I'm going to build a web service using Delphi for PHP and I'm going to use Delphi 2010 to consume this web service from the Delphi VCL Forms application. Let's start with a simple web service. I'm going to create a new data module in Delphi for PHP. It's a great place for placing different non-visual components from the VCL for PHP library. The VCL for PHP library is a library structured after the VCL library but is written in pure PHP 5 code. OK, let's adjust some of the uh, properties of the service component. So I'm going to call it my Delphi service. OK, and I'm also going to set the active property to true. In the events tab, I'm going to implement a register services event. The first thing to do is to implement the actual function that is going to be called as a result of invoking my web service. This function is going to be a simple echo function. So this function will take input as an argument and it will return it. OK. Notice this is pure Delph, uh, pure PHP 5 code. OK. So this is my implementation and now I need to implement the function. So I need to start from this. This in Delphi for PHP is equivalent of self in Delphi 2010. This my Delphi service and its register method. And now I need to provide parameters for the register method. So the first parameter is the name of my implementation method and now input parameters which is an array and this is an array that describes the input. Input is just a string. In XML web services the type system is based on XML schema so that's why I'm prepending the string with XSD. And now the return value, so this is going to be a return, also is going to be XSD string. Of course, not semicolon, but just colon. And the last parameter is the actual base URL where my web service is going to be available. OK, let's put a semicolon at the end and now our web service, very simple web service, is implemented. Let me run it without debugging. So, this is the test page of my service echo web service. If I click on a WSDL, I can right click and see the actual WSDL code that is generated automatically from my running web service. So what I need here to have is the URL to the WSDL and this URL I'm going to use uh, as a starting point for implementation of the client. Okay, so the URL is already in the clipboard. Let's switch to Delphi 2010. I'm going to, imp to create an empty VCL Forms application and this VCL, ap VCL Forms application will work as my web service client. So the first task after creating a VCL Forms application is to import the WSDL from the running web service. This will generate a Delphi unit with all the necessary code for accessing this web service. I'm going to use a new IDE inside feature. I'm going to press F6 
and just start typing WSDL import and I can very quickly come into the WSDL uh, importer uh, dialog in Delphi 2010 this has been uh, redesigned and simplified so I have to specify the location of the WSDL document web services description language so I'm going to click on next I'm going to uh, leave the automatic soap versioning and also leave all the options of importing uh, default I'm going to to keep the default uh, names of units as they are so that generated unit is just unit 4 for me in the generated code I can see the definition of an interface this interface contains all the methods that are available from the web service